What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Danny. So I am doing this intro again because I had no idea this video was going to be a flop. Wait for me to explain. I got in the mail the new It Cosmetics foundation and I was actually extremely excited to try it out and I was going to try it out for you guys, do a wear test, all of that. It, it just it didn't work out. I've decided to put up this video so you guys could see how everything just turned out, what went wrong, what happened probably get a really good laugh because it was it was just a mess if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any new videos that are coming and yeah okay let's let's do this <laughs> so today we are going to be trying out a new foundation and it's it cosmetics and it is their new confidence in a foundation foundation <laughs> i'm super excited to try it because the creator of it cosmetics actually has rosacea and a lot of her products are specifically designed for sensitive skin people like myself so those that have rosacea or might have any other skin conditions or are just sensitive overall so i think it's a really cool thing i'm pretty sure a lot of people are not going to be talking about this foundation because i have heard that it cosmetics sucks when it comes to their shades like they just do not get the right undertone so i'm here on the website and the key benefits are that it's oil free humidity proof velvet matte finish foundation delivers up to 24 hours of coverage hydration and confidence that's cute feels weightless on skin covers the look of blemishes redness dark spots and other imperfections without creasing or cracking okay perfect for all skin types even the most sensitive skin infused with ceramids peptides hydrolyzed collagen hyaluronic acid and squalon or squalene or squalon 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 squalene i don't know it sounds very promising which is the scary part because when something sounds so perfect it's like is it actually going to be that perfect the price is 32 dollars and you get one fluid ounce so right here is the one that i got i got it in the color medium sand warm so they have different undertones they have cool warm and neutral i believe there's also 48 different shades which i think is pretty cool so i got it in the color 210 medium sand w i already moisturized and i already prepped my under eyes by the way i am going to go in with my cover effects blurring primer look how red i get <laughs> so i have my real techniques sponge right here and yes yeah, let's just do this i'm always so scared to try new foundations like what if i don't like it you know what i mean Oh crap. Oh man, this isn't my color. <laughs> How the hell is this medium sand? Obviously, this is not my color. Like, I want to show you guys why I picked this color, which... 210 medium sand W. Let's pretend this is my shade okay i don't like it <laughs> it's so sticky one it already creased really badly on my smile lines my breakouts don't even look covered they just look like purple i don't know how i'm gonna be able to show you guys but all around my cheeks i have like white little specks i don't know what that is at all i've never seen that when i put foundation on Let's see if you guys could see what I'm talking about. Okay, first of all, you go like this and it comes off. Okay, do you see that? All right, right here. This is literally the ugliest foundation I've ever used in my entire life. I don't know if to take it off and just try something new or just go with it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, guys, I am so sorry for being so abrupt and just stopping the video and not really saying much else but that was probably the worst foundation i've ever tried in my whole entire life and i'm like in shock about it i didn't think it was gonna be that bad so i ended up just doing my makeup how i always do Duh. yeah this is going away I'm so sorry that this video is this short. I really expected to like that foundation and for the video to be much longer, like a wear test and everything. Next week will be a much better video, I promise. But either way, I hope you guys got a good laugh with what was going on and my reaction. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next week. Bye!